Yes, students. Welcome to another session. In this session, let us try to understand how to fit a binomial distribution. Okay. So here in this particular problem, we'll be trying to fit a binomial distribution to the given data. So here we have been presented data in terms of table. Please go through this question. The following data relates to number of defective items in a sample of five. For 500 samples taken during a week. So, uh, totally how many samples we have taken? Totally we have taken 500 samples. We have taken 500 samples. What is the size of each sample? Sample size is 5. Okay. So, we have taken a 500 sample. Each sample is of size 5. So, there are in a sample there are 5 defective items. So, here is a table telling us how many defective items are there in a sample. Okay. So, there are totally 168 samples are there, there will be no defective items. Okay. So, there will be 0 defective items. How many such samples are there? Totally 168 samples are there. So, similarly there will be 1 defective item. So, how many such samples are there? 180 samples. 2 defective items, how many such samples? 120 samples. So, similarly there are totally 500 samples and their number of defective items have been given. Okay? So, the table is having number of defective items and number of samples. So, for this particular data, so these data they are observed frequencies. Please notice here, we are observing. So, for, from a pool of the items, we are selecting only 500 samples. Out of these 500 samples, we have studied, we have observed 168 of them will be having no defective items, 180 we have, will be having one only one defective items. We have made an observation, but we need to fit a theory, theory, theoretical frequencies we need to come up with. These are observed frequencies, but for this we need to find a theoretical frequency. So, before finding a theoretical frequency, first of all we need to find binomial distribution. We need to fit a binomial distribution. So, let us solve this problem. So, first we need to define a random variable. So, what is the random variable for our given problem here? So, x is a random variable. What does x says about? So, x is a random variable. Please notice here, it tells us about number of defective items, number of defective items in a sample, in a sample of 5 items. In a sample, there are 5 items. Out of those 5 items, how many defectives are there? So, x, how it is behaving? The variate x is behaving like a binomial variate with parameter n is equal to 5, that is number of units or number of items in the sample is 5. And what is the probability of detecting a defective item in a sample that is p, we do not know what is the value of p, we need to find it. So, how can we find the probability of success parameter p value? It can be estimated by the given data. So, we have been given the data, using this data we can find what is the probability p value. Okay. So, here here p small p can be estimated can be estimated by the data by the given data by the given data i'll be making small changes in the table itself please notice here so what is the data given we have been presented with x value followed by we have been also given their frequencies. Okay. What we need to find? We need to find p, small p that is probability of success. How to arrive at the small p value? We know that for binomial distribution, for binomial distribution mean is equal to x bar 
what is the mean of a binomial distribution mean is np correct mean of a binomial distribution is np mean is usually indicated by x bar by the given data we can find what is x bar already we know what is n we don't know what is p so out of these three values if you know any two that is x bar and n then automatically we can come ac across what is the value of p probability of success so that's why for the given data from the given data we need to estimate first in the beginning what is x bar that is mean okay so let us find x bar what is the formula for x bar the formula for x bar is please uh, let me write it down here x bar is equal to summation fx by capital n okay so these are x values these are the frequency we need to come up with one more row that is fx fx okay so 0 multiplied by anything is 0 180 here 240 here 60 40 10 so these are the values fx values now let us find the total total is equal to here total frequency already we know that totally there are 500 samples are there okay now we need to add f of x value so the summation f of x value is 530 530 is a summation fx value so now let us find the mean x bar is equivalent to summation fx by n that is 530 by 500 will be giving you the value 1.06 so x what is x bar x bar is 1.06 so for binomial distribution for what binomial distribution mean is equal to x bar mean can be termed as x bar what is x mean mean according to binomial distribution prakara np and small p okay np so what is your x bar x bar is 1.06 what is n value n value is 5 5 p small p so what is p p is equal to 1.06 divided by 5 so what is the answer the answer is 0 0.212 this is the p value so now we came across the value of p p value you know the gota 0.212 okay once again let me tell you first we have been given only the table having only x and f value using this table you need to come up with the x bar that is mean value so what is the mean for binomial distribution mean is np that is we know mean by the data mean is 1.06 so into n value we know we need to kind find find out the p value okay so p value is probability of success value is the parameter p value is 0 0.212 okay next so the half of the problem is done the next we need to fit a binomial distribution sorry sorry we need to come up with a binomial distribution fit so how to do that we need to come up with a probability mass function so let us write the probability mass function now <coughs> what is the probability mass function for the binomial distribution the probability mass function the probability mass function for binomial distribution is for binomial distribution is p of x is equal to n c x p power x q power n minus x where x can take value 0 1 2 dash dash n this is a general form but for our problem 
n is 5 c x what is p value the p value is 0 0.212 to the power x what is q q is nothing but 1 minus p so the q value is 0 0.788 to the power 5 minus x where x can take value 0 1 2 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, this is a customized PMF for our problem. Now, let us find probability of 0. Random variable taking the value 0. Let us find its probability. So, that is 5 C 0, 0 0.212 to the power 0 and 0 0.788 to the power 5 minus 0. Okay. <clears throat> phi c 0 is 1, anything to the power 0 is 1, again here 0 0.788 to the power 5. So, the final answer for this is 0 0.3038. So, the probability of x taking the value 0 is 0 0.3038. This is the probability. But what about the frequency, expected frequency of x taking the value 0? So, that is given by T of x. What is the formula? T of x is equivalent to n into probability of x. Correct? What we are interested in? We are interested in finding what is the expected frequency of the x value taking x taking the value 0. That is, what is the n value? n is 500 into what is probability of x taking the value 0? That is 0 0.3038. So, if you multiply 500 with 0 0.3038, you will be getting the value 151. 0.9. It means, what is the meaning? It means out of 500 samples, each sample is having 5 units. What is the size? N value is 5. Please notice here, totally there are 500 samples we are drawing. Each sample will be having 5 units. Out of them, 151.9 samples will be having no defective, no defective. Please understand this. Okay. So, according to theory, according to the theory, theoretical distribution, according to the theoretical distribution, totally out of 500 samples, 151.9 samples will not be having any defective items. There will be no such 151.9, there will be no such half item or else 0.9 item. So, we need to approximate it. So, we can say this as approximation to 152. Okay. So, which can be approximated to 152. 152. So, this is the theoretical, expected theoretical free frequency for T of 0. So, but now we need to continue for all the other x values. So, for which I will be using the formula. Okay, Please notice here, either you can use recurrence relation, but since we are starting with this problem, let me go with the usual way. Okay, So, this, this, this was with respect to the t of 0 value. So, now if I want to know what is the expected frequency for t of 1, then you can go with the formula, please notice here, plainly n into probability of 1. For this again you need to find probability of 1. In case if I want to know what is the expected number of frequencies for t of 0, then n into probability of 2, similarly for t of 3, t of 4, t of 5. So, it is a difficult procedure, the reason is every time you need to find the probabilities. Instead, we can use another version, another way. Okay. So, what is that another way, another easy way? Please notice here, there is a recurrence relation. I want to find, <coughs> sorry, T1. I want to find 
the number expected frequency for x taking the value 1 that is let, let me go with the general formula t x is equal into t x into into t x into n minus 1 plus x divided by x into p by q into t of x minus 1 ok. I can use this particular expression ok. So, what is T x? This is the formula recurrence this relation is referred by the name recurrence R e C u double R a n C e recurrence relation. In case if you are not using this relation then every time you need to find the probabilities of all the variable values random variable values that is a difficult procedure instead of this it is an easy way ok. So, now I would already we know what is the probability of 0 using which I have found what is the expected frequency of t of 0 now I would like to know what is the expected frequency of t of 1 t of 1 is equal to what is n value 5 minus 1 plus what is the x value the new x value is 1 divided by 1 into what is the probability p value the probability p value is 0 0.212 divided by what is the q value q value is 0 0.788 into t of x minus 1 what is x value 1 1 minus 1 is 0 please notice here ok that is already we know the t of 0 value that is your 5 minus 1 is 4 4 plus 1 divided by 1 into let me write it once again in the same way 0 0.212 divided by 0 0.788 into what is t of 0 t of 0 is 152 t of 0 is 152 directly I am writing it ok. So, or else you can also consider in case if you do want to round it off then you can go with 0 151.9 also you can consider ok 0 0.191. So, if you solve this if you solve this you will be getting expected frequency for t of 1. So, the expected after solving this you will be getting the value as 204, 204.3055. It means out of 500 samples, 0 defective items already we have found out there will be 152 items will be there. Next T of 1 means what will be one defect number of one defective items out of 500 it will be 204.3055 there will be no such 0 0.003055 your units will not be there defective items will not be there we need to round it off so it can be 204 make it 204 so there will be out of 500 items to uh, sample sorry 500 samples there will be 204 samples having only one defective items ok. So, this recursive re recurs recurrence uh, relation will help us to find out the t values t of x values in an easy way. Next now let us find t of next expect frequency of second term ok t of 2 x value. So, n value is 5 5 minus 1 plus 2 divided by 2 into p value is 0 0.212 divided by 0 0.788 into t of 2 minus 1 t of 2 minus 1. <coughs> so, which will give you the value 5 minus 1 is 4 plus 2 that is 6 divided by 2 into 0 0.212 divided by 0 0.788 into t of 2 minus 1 is 1. Previously, we have already know we know what is the t of 1 value ok expected uh, theoretical frequency of t of 1. So, after working with this expression you will be getting the value of t of 2 as 109.8 
1.92 which can be approximated to 110 which can be approximated to 110 in the similar fashion we will be finding t of 3 t of 4 and t of 5 so the value for t of 3 is 29.57 which can be approximated to 30, T of 4 is 3.98 which can be approximated to 4 and T of 5 is 0 0.2141 which can be approximated to 0, okay, which can be approximated, please notice here 0 0.2141 can be approximated to 0. So, uh, these are the theoretical expected values, not observed one, these are the theoretical expected values. Okay. At last, the last thing is, we need to construct once again a table showing the x value, observed frequency and theoretical frequencies. So, number of defective number of defective items number of defective items followed by observed frequencies <coughs> observed frequencies followed by theoretical frequencies theoretical frequencies. To start with the problem, number of defective items and only observed frequencies were given. But last end bar paper problem end mark paper number, theoretical frequency according to binomial distribution kuda gotta gide. So number of defective items is still bodo one the sam five uh, one the sample only five units there. There can be zero defective items, one defective items, two, three, four, or it can be five. Okay, what were the observed frequencies? Observed frequencies are 168, 180, 120, 20, followed by 10 and 2. These were the observed frequencies. But now theory use maadi, binomial distribution theory use maadi, now work out maadi daga. We came to the conclusion that 152 samples will be having zero defective items but observed observation prakara is to 168 and similarly out of 500 samples 204 samples will be having only one defective items similarly 110 samples will be having two defective items 30 samples will be having three defective items and t4 is only four samples will be having four defective items and zero samples will be having no defective items. So, let us make a total here. So, total is we started with 500 items. If you add up all these things, you will be getting once again 500 item samples. Okay. We started with 500 samples. Again, we are having a th theoretical frequencies for 500 samples. So, this will be an important problem for you in the exam. This can be asked for 10 marks to fit a binomial distribution. Thank you.